Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. In this video, I'm going to provide an overview and first impressions of the Saint Laurent passport case. Initially, I was hesitant to film this video because this item is currently sold out across all department stores as well as on the Saint Laurent website. However, there's always the chance of this item popping up on the pre-loved market. So in the event that you are looking for a passport case or are eyeing this particular item specifically, I figured this video could come in handy for you when trying to determine if this item will work for you. All right, so let's get started. Here's the case up close so you can see it real quick. According to the Saint Laurent website, it measures 5.5 inches across, 3.9 inches in height, and one inch in depth. It has a snap front closure. You open it up and you've got the four credit card slots right here, as well as the one insert slot on the left, and you've got the Saint Laurent stamp right there. Come back out and you've got the one passport insert slot here on the right. Close it back up. And in the back here, you've got the one external slot. It currently retails for 525 US dollars, and it is made out of calf skin with chevron stitch detail. This particular one is called Deep Marine, so it's a dark, dark navy color and has silver hardware. To be perfectly honest with you, when I just look at it here, it looks almost black. It is a very, very dark navy. The only time I really realize that it's navy is when it's set up against something black. As you can see here, this is the dust bag that it came in. So once you set it up in front of something black, you can tell that it is navy and not black. But when it's on its own, it really looks super, super dark. It's a, it's a really lovely chameleon color. So what I'm going to do now is load it up the way I would if I were to be using it on international travel, and then I'll come back, show it all to you and let you know what I think about it. Okay. So here is the case all loaded up. Let me give you a quick tour of it around. There we go. Pop it open for you. And there is everything. So my first thoughts about this case is, very positive. I like that in comparison to other passport cases out there that this one is very secure because it does feature this snap closure here. And I do like the feel of the leather because it feels very durable. I don't have to worry about it scratching as soon as I use it. The pebbled nature of the leather will allow it to remain hopefully looking like new for, for many, many trips to come. And given the fact that this has, you know, these card slots and this slot here and the slot in the back, it can pretty much serve as an international wallet when you're traveling, because when you are traveling international, you're likely not going to be needing all the credit cards that you normally do carry when you are stateside or in your respective country. So you can just in here, pop in you know, a second form of ID, your international credit card, a backup credit card, and in this fourth slot, you could put another credit card. I happen to have my global entry card here. You could put an insurance card here. Obviously the passport goes right over there. And for kicks, I decided to put coins in the back here. I, let's see, they're not coming out. Typically when I travel internationally anyway, I charge almost everything. It's going to be a rare occurrence where I am left with change that I need to keep on me. So having this little slot here, just so I can throw a couple, couple coins if and when I do need them or get them will be perfect. Obviously I can't speak from firsthand experience since I haven't had the chance yet to use this internationally. So when that time comes, I will certainly be sure to keep track of my thoughts and feelings about this particular case as I am traveling. And when I do come back from that trip, wherever it may take me, I will be sure to record a video so that I can follow up and let you know what I thought of this when I actually put it to use. That's all for this particular video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and be sure to ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.